All right, everyone. Welcome back to another install video here for the FL5. But first and foremost, this video is actually sponsored by Siri Moto. We want to thank them. Big, big shout outs. They've been a huge supporter of the FL5 project. Uh, the product they sent to us was the N1 Clutch Master Cylinder Upgrade Kit. You go ahead and say that three times. But this is the little part that they sent us. This is going to help us out when we're on track. It's going to increase the pedal feel for us. And I'm going to read straight from the packaging they sent us. This is a direct fit application. All right. This is assembled with high grade components and materials. It eliminates the master cylinder dampener diaphragm. I'll have Lewis explain that because that's out of my pay grade. It also is going to eliminate slave labor delay valve. It actually features comprehensive hardware kit with mounting brackets and fasteners. It includes all the stainless steel braid lines for the clutch lines. And it's best of all covered by one year warranty. So if you end up, you know, getting a boo-boo one, which I'm sure you're not, they'll cover it for you. All right. So I'm going to have Lewis give you guys a full rundown of what all the lingo that I just gave you guys. He's going to tell you exactly what it all means. So the biggest benefit of this is that you're going to be deleting that stock dampener. That little dampener actually restricts the amount of fluid that goes from the clutch master center, which is what you're pushing in and out when you're engaging the clutch. So you're going to be getting direct fluid from the actual uh, brake reservoir. It's going to go in and instead of it being drops of fluid being pushed out, it's going to be a lot smoother flow coming throughout the entire, the entire hose. And this is an, actually an upgraded hose that comes with it. So you're going to get a new braided hose. You're going to get all the, the mounting brackets, which are these. So these should be able to go to the OEM locations. You're going to get new banjo bolts, new crush washers, new OEM bolts for the frame itself. So if you can see that right there, the kit itself is pretty well designed. I've used this on our Civic SI build. And this year I noticed that they actually went with the Willwood upgrade, which a lot of FK8 guys end up doing and they have great success. But the biggest benefit for this is that this billet adapter adapts the Willwood to the FO5 frame itself. This is gonna go behind the battery. So we're gonna remove the battery, the intake, and then we're also gonna remove part of the slave cylinder. And we're not gonna have that dampener restricting us from the amount of fluid we can actually get to the slave cylinder. And it's also going to delete that pesky second gear grind that a lot of you guys tend to feel when yeah. on track or even lockouts because in the fk8 i felt the second gear grind and i also felt like that fourth to fifth gear lockout once or twice but that will eliminate it and that really happens when you're commanding like when you're doing fast shifts you're you're pushing the clutch in but because it has that delay valve in there there's a there's a delay between the pull and the shift so with this, deleting that, you're going to have that fluid direct. And as you saw one of our older videos, they actually sent us a delay valve that we already did, which we already removed it on this, but there's going to be another spring inside of the OEM one that's going to be replacing that OEM plastic one that's in there. So that's, if you remember, that was our big concern is that the plastic one was going to overheat and it was going to eventually break. This should basically help us on track the most. You know, some of you guys that maybe do some road racing, it's probably going to help you with your shifts. Um, but yeah. That's it, only in Mexico. Yeah, well, I mean, it's only in Mexico. Remember? At the track. At the track. Yeah. At the drag strip. Yeah, you know? At the drag strip. So, anyways, we're going to get going. We're going to get installing this item real quick. This should take us about an hour, give or take. And we're going to get started now. Okay, and then for reference, we're going to have to take out the intake snorkel deal here. We're going to have to pull the box out. We're going to take the battery out and this is all going to give us space to work right here and once we do all that i'll check back in with you guys to show you exactly what we're going to take off because lewis was just explaining to me all that all right guys we went ahead and removed everything like i told you we took out the snorkel we took out the box we took out the battery and the tray and now maestro let us know what we're doing okay so what we're going to do first is this line is the feed line okay this what feeds the clutch master cylinder, which is right here. As you can see, it's plastic. So this is what we're worried about. We're worried that this is gonna be 
just basically getting hot. This wire is unrelated. Um, our new line comp with the kit is gonna delete this, which is a hard line. And then it's gonna delete here, which is supposed to be your brake um, dampener for the clutch master cylinder. So it's gonna dampen right here. And then from here, it's gonna run all the way down through this, through the end, and then it's gonna go to your, yours is gonna be probably a stock clutch slave line, but this one's a spoon one. We're gonna delete the spoon one and then it's gonna attach here. And then from here, it's gonna feed the slave cylinder, which is this guy right here. So the slave cylinder is what actually pushes the clutch itself. The, the master cylinder is what you're pushing with the clutch pedal. So when you're pressing the pedal inside of the cabin, you're basically pumping fluid from up here to the master, to the slave, and then the slave pushes the clutch fork and that pushes in the, the clutch itself. We'll just so zoom in. And if you have been following the build, we removed, so you can see it right there. We removed the stock uh, hardware that was there with the, what was it called again? The N1 dampener, dampener delete. delete. Yeah, the N1 dampener delete that uh, Sirimoto sent us to test out. Again, shout out, you guys have been awesome. And that did improve pedal feel. It took out a little bit of the sponginess. Y'all remember that tool? If you guys remember what that tool was for, that was when we were trying, when actually when we were installing the radium tank. Remember that yeah, It saves tool? you a lot of time. It's gonna save you money when using the brake fluid. You still have to bleed the brake um, master cylinder through the slave right here. You still have to do that. Um, but this is just gonna basically keep a lot of the fluid from just spilling out. All right, this lighting segment is sponsored by Snap-on, the leaders in automotive mechanic tools. <laughs> All right, so Lewis has already gone ahead and pinched the uh, brake line, right? And he's gonna now release this. And like how he said, you may wanna put a towel there so that way when it leaks out, you're able to you know, retain as much of the fluid. It doesn't leak all over your car. And remember, this stuff's highly corrosive, so it will eat your paint if you do not clean it. It's gonna be a little C-clip holding this stock hard line right here. So if you see, this is a push style. You see this? So you're gonna use a pick basically, and then you're gonna push the pin out, and then it's gonna release. So once I do that, I'm gonna be able to, I'm gonna hold this so I don't lose a lot of fluid. And then that's it. But you see the amount of fluid actually coming out. It's very minimal. There's droplets and it's because we're holding this. If I open this, this is just all gonna spill out from the reservoir. Okay, so we went ahead and loosened up and the clutch slave line. We are going to remove the little safety pin that holds it. And like we were saying, this whole apparatus is gonna come out. That's including the spoon line this greenish line, metal line you see, it comes underneath here. And if I can get it to focus, there you go. All that, including this bracket, all this is gonna be deleted all the way up to the uh, master cylinder itself. All right, guys, we went ahead and removed everything. We figured out that the best way was to uh, do it in two parts. It was just too hard to get it out. Uh, we went ahead and disconnected it from the clutch slave area here and that's why this piece is separate We pulled that out and then we went ahead and pulled this part out again. Our application is different uh, Because we didn't have it connected there because we had already eliminated the dampener in a previous video So watch that and you'll see why but Lewis now is removing the two screws that hold the master cylinder to the frame of the car okay as you can see there is going to be a little part of it that's going to come out like that okay now this is what we're going to be replacing so you see this is like a plastic little piece and in here there's still going to be a valve in here that actually push i'm not going to push it because it's going to spill out everywhere but <laughs> and then this is going to be the difference so you're going to be deleting that that plastic you know frail piece and you're going to be upgrading with like a nice strong metal what spring is this, like steel yeah this is probably steel and this is billet yeah so you can see this is how they're adapting it now yeah so again just to recap guys 
we've removed all of the master cylinder clutch lines completely off the car all the way to the yeah to the slave pretty much so all lines all hard lines have been removed and we're going to now replace it with the provided steel braided lines that Sirimoto sends which again looks really nice okay and then just to give you guys also a reference and this is the adjustability that you're gonna have but as you can see it's kind of not meant to be messed with too much it's, it's very small like literally it's only made to go like one or two turns depending on your clutch right so now like i said when we upgrade clutches we'll have the adjustability first thing i'm going to try to get this in here i'm going to see if it's big enough which it is the hole's big enough in there and, uh, if not the other option would have been to have had to have screwed it in from the inside of the frame but, I mean, it fits like a glove. Yep. That yeah, looks pretty good in there. Oh, hidden, look at you. Yeah, again, these are pretty parts for the car that we're never gonna see ever again. Yeah, that's the unfortunate part. It's like when you get a radiator or you get, again. Yeah, uh, I think the radiator one is the one that pisses me off the most because it's like something like nice, but that was in the front, like you're never gonna see it. You're yeah, see it. yeah. Unless you're planning on not using a uh, AC condenser or something, you might be able to see it. But otherwise, nada. Right there, and then the brackets that we're gonna get, we're gonna run like this, and like that, and then basically that's how it it connects. And I'm just trying to get you guys in there with him without getting actually in his way. But as you can see, that's the fitting and orientation. So I'm gonna put the fitting in now before I lock everything down on the inside. Yeah. Brackets and bolts. So these are gonna be the new OEM ones you're gonna use. And then... Yeah, don't go putting in these <laughs> in the wrong area, guys. Yes, yeah, so you're gonna have one copper washer here and one at the bottom, and this is gonna squish in between the line. So the line itself is going to be in between there. And then Sirimoto also sends you, this is called like a, basically there's like a little ball in here. And this is what you can add to the slave cylinder. If you're bleeding this by yourself, it won't allow the fluid to come out when you open it. Oh, that's okay. dope. So, um, oh, and they did include that in, in the, the other end, kit. In the N1 dampener delete kit. So we're not going to use it though because we have the tools here to make it easy. We have the air compression. So we're going to force, forcefully remove it. Okay. And that's why we're not going to use it. So if but, you guys want to, it's a good upgrade to have. I was going to say, but if you choose to do that, it's a nice little feature. All right, boys. So just again, quick recap. The steel braided lines have been tightened and they've been tightened down here. Well, no, you haven't tightened it here. Right? No, not yet. Okay. I'm going to set this up before I tighten it. So these little clips that come with the kit, we're going to attach it to the frame and that's what's going to hold the line up. And they provide you all nice, shiny new hardware. Okay, and that's the look of. Well, okay, somebody's head just got all in the way. All right, boys, we are about 80% done. We went ahead and already tightened up all the lines. Here's mounting location one. And like I said, we ended up going with mounting location two right here because we didn't want to mess too much with the f factory ground. I'm assuming that this is where Sirimoto gives you the 10 to mount it up to, as you could tell right there. But we decided to go here. It's not too big of a deal. And we went ahead and tightened it up to here. We're giving it some slack, you know, that way it doesn't kind of get in the way of these guys here. And that's something that we'll report back to Sirimoto. It's up to them. This is just the application we're doing. They might have a different setup in mind, but Either way, you can't go wrong on either of them. All right, so the next part is gonna be very muffled because he has to turn on the... The compressor. It killed the light. But thanks, yeah, he killed the lighting. It's, God, just took everything off. Wow. Okay, so 
So you can see he's pressurized the line. It's gonna open it here. And now you're starting to see the fluid get sucked in. You never wanna let this thing go dry. Now you're gonna have to re-bleed the brakes and everything else. But we're just gonna keep topping it off. Yeah, this is gonna take too long. We're gonna need a little bit of fluid. We didn't lose that much, but just letting it come out. And just top it off one more time and then we're gonna close it now. And you can tell, see? It's already stopped. He's got it nice and tight. That's what does all the suck power here. And ain't just him. I'm gonna put back your little Mm -hmm. Mandatory. Okay, now we're gonna reassemble the car, or are we gonna check the pedal feel first? You're gonna press it. You just jump in there and press. Let me know how you. Alright, all right, guys. Car's all buttoned up. Went ahead and tested out the clutch feel and the adjustment point, and I think we went ahead and dialed that in perfectly. We're good to go now. The next test is to go take it out on the road and drive it around, make sure everything's, you know, nice and tight, buttoned up. And then the final test will be out on the track to see how it responds once we get, you know, some more heat and racing-like conditions. But overall, great pedal feel. Let me get Lewis over here to tell you exactly what he felt. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm biased. No, yeah, it feels better. Than stock, the stock one's just kind of a little too soft, huh? I feel like it's a good upgrade if you don't really want like a aftermarket clutch, but you still want to like utilize, like, because it's good for the track. I mean, we tracked it and it's good. Like, we have no had no issues yet. It felt like it had a little bit of like push into it. Like, I guess if you almost say like a, like a little bit of resistance, you know, so it's a little tighter. And then the snap back came, you know, once you let go of that pedal, it comes right back. Clap back, huh? Yeah, <laughs> it's just clapping back at you. So it felt really good, really, uh, really nice. And, and uh, what's the word? Jeez, I'm probably missing the word, but it's just, just a lot more responsive feel. And then I Morris, what, what did you feel when you, when you uh, hit the clutch on it? Oh, now he's into an, into an Integra. What did you feel? I have no comment. Um, <laughs> as in regularly. Hold on, hold on. My, my boss will speak for me. Go ahead, say what I gotta say. But yeah, the, the feel just felt way snappier, way better. This is gonna conclude this short, brief installation of the Ciramoto N1 Clutch Master Cylinder Upgrade Kit. We hope we went ahead and gave you guys an idea of what it is to install it. We're gonna give you guys more of an in-depth review on how it feels once we're on track. The guys went ahead and felt it. We're all good here. So again, big, big shout out to Siri Moto for hooking us up with the part. We really appreciate that. And from myself, the trusty labor assistant and the two state back-to-back -back three-time Edge Master, Lewis, we'll see you guys out on the next one.